WCW Worldwide Exclusive Matchup. Mike Tanay, Tony Schiavone in the arena, and Tony, the cruiserweight division in World Championship Wrestling continues to be among the most competitive, and the artist, as he's now known, accompanied by Paisley, making his way to the ring, and we all know that the artist like many of the other cruiserweights in WCW, looking to gain a shot at that championship belt. And Mike, we heard what she said earlier about the MIA, the Misfits in Action, or as she called them, Mitwits in Action, getting involved as a group in the matches involving the artists. So she does not want any members of MIA, obviously she has to include Hops in all of this, getting involved in this match against Corporal Cage. And when I think about Pops and Paisley, I have to reflect back to that recent press conference that we saw involving Paisley and the man now known simply as the artist, formerly the artist known as Prince Iakea, but a name change, I guess, was in order. And remember when Pops showed up at the press conference. Pops has really added a different dimension to MIA, and the fans are up, and here they all come together. This is something that she did not want. the matchup that was signed for earlier when the contracts were settled for this worldwide matchup okay 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 I tell you something right now we will make this fair but to make it fair I'm keeping major guns in my corner oh yeah nothing wrong with that seems to be a popular choice So that means the other misfits got to leave, and uh, Major Guns, Corporal Cajun, will go up against the artist here. And immediately, right even before the opening bell, the artist on the attack, but Corporal Cajun fighting back, fires him off into the ropes. Nice elevation with the back body drop. Drop kick was on target. Down goes the artist, and quickly the Corporal following up his advantage. Nice hook at the top rope that time by the artist, stopping his momentum, but as soon as he turns around, he's taken down to the mat with the lariat. Corporal Cajun's an odd personality, and he must stay focused because a guy like the artist, the former cruiserweight champ, can win this thing in a hurry. Back elbow, caught him right on the point of the jaw. Slow to recover is the artist. Let's see if the corporal can take advantage of this first, first opening that he has here, but the... Momentum is quickly turned around as the artist grabs him by the back of the head but missed the leg drop. Now going to take him up and drive him down to the mat. Variation of the fireman's carry and then just drove Corporal Cage into the canvas. The countdown is on to the next WCW pay-per-view event. It's Bash at the Beach in Daytona Beach, Florida. Coming up on Sunday, July the 9th. Artist with a quick cover and a two count before Corporal Cage is able to kick out. And Tony, we know it. Bash at the Beach that the new blood certainly going to be involved at Bash at the Beach coming up on July the 9th as well as the remaining members of the Millionaires Club. The remaining members is right. Watch out now. Another quick roll-up pinfall attempt here by the Corporal and another two count. It's been amazing over the past few weeks what the new blood has done. Watch out. To the Millionaires Club. Another quick roll-up attempt. After the interference by Paisley and another two count for Corporal Cajun who comes back with a series of right hands on the jaw 
little drop down move, a little Bourbon Street Blues punctuated with the clothesline. And of course among the major moves of Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff acquiring the services of Bill Goldberg and out of the corner, great move by the artist that leads to the three count and the win. Well, Mike, what happened right here was that Purple Cajun was too tied up with getting the face of uh -oh. Paisley and here comes Pops. And that cost him ultimately the win and it was a big win for the artist. And now it's only they could do, Paisley and the artist will celebrate here. Paisley making her way over to the corner for the post-match victory party with the artist who moves up in the rankings of the WCW Cruiserweights with the win over Corporal Cajun. Uh-oh, there's company. A little bit of heat now involving Major Guns and Paisley. These two face-to-face. -face. Can we see a cat fight between these two? Why not? That's what the fans want. Many of them are standing and cheering on this. Oh, Looks as if that's what Major Guns wants as well, and there they go. Uh-oh. Look out, Pops. Pops saw it, Pops. <laughs> Pops trying to keep that helmet on, too, so to speak. Yeah, always important to keep your helmet on in that kind of a situation. And Major Guns now just taking watch Paisley out, by the head. Look out, Pops. Pop's gonna, gonna fight the artist. What's the artist backing up for? Oh, he backed away. Meanwhile, as that's going on, there's a heck of a cat fight going on here. So it's the other misfits in action that are backing up Pops that causes the artist to roll out to the floor and avoid any kind of contact. That was about as wild as you can get it. Once the match was over. have their own post-match celebration. Let's take another look at the action, Tony. It came down to that one spectacular move that the artist uses, but Paisley paint rushed Corporal Cajun, who made a mistake by getting her face and then the cover in the one, two, three. The artist continues the win streak, heading towards another shot at Lieutenant Loco in the Cruiserweight title. That's what's in the future for the artist. Another shot at the world's cruiserweight title that he has held on several occasions in the past. Now let's send it back to the studio. Take it, guys. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Great exclusive action here on Worldwide Legend. Again, the wrestling world talking about the new blood. We sold them short for so long, but they are firmly in control right now. Ric Flair, retired, gone. Hulk Hogan, injured. We don't know when or if. He's coming back, the new blood looking strong. Well, the new blood is almost looking invincible. I mean, uh, Flair definitely weakens the millionaire's club, but in terms of the new blood, who is going to stand a chance if Goldberg's on their team? Still cannot believe what went down at the great American bash. Goldberg aligning himself with Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff. We never thought we would see it. But it is a harsh reality that we have to face right now in World Championship reality, I mean, Goldberg has just made Benedict Arnold a national hero. For the living legend, Larry Zabisco, I'm Scott Hudson. We'll see you next week right here on WCW Worldwide.